What's up guys, Winterkill is here, and welcome to a video that is going to be the first of its kind. Uh, doing a bit of a community showcase here, I don't really know what I'm going to title this type of video. But uh, every now and then, uh, when we come across a really cool and innovative deck uh, on stream, or if I ever come across one, you know, whenever I'm doing anything Yu-Gi-Oh related, uh, I figured I'd just go ahead and share it with you guys, uh, because this is a really, really cool deck. One night, uh, we were on stream, and uh, we happened to come across this deck, and uh, it's a fish OTK deck that is able to extra link uh, using just all these fish monsters you see here. I know there's the Swap Frog uh, stuff in here as well. Go ahead and sort the deck. The Swap Frog stuff, uh, the Silent stuff, Angler and Wabi. You got the Nimble Engine. Uh, you got the Mermel cards, Teus and uh, Dine, White Stingray, Sekka's Light, Treeborn Frog, and then a whole jam-packed extra deck full link monsters minus the one Cat Shark. Um, but this deck is super, super cool and surprisingly consistent um, and just seems like a really innovative way to take advantage of all these random fish monsters. And uh, as soon as I played against it, I immediately, immediately had to know what was in this guy's deck and lucky he was able to join the discord which you guys should uh too if you haven't already uh so you can see things like this uh firsthand if you'd like and um yeah i think the only thing i have to say at this point is uh we'll just uh go over the deck real fast what are the cards he's playing and then we'll go right into some of the replays he was able to send me uh, just to show you guys sort of how the deck operates. I'm not hyping this up as some sort of like, oh, this is going to be tier one soon. Nobody knows about it. But this is a deck that he said he threw together um, just by reading this guy's effect. And he tried to base stuff around it. And this is what he came up with. And I think it's actually pretty damn good uh, and consistent for what he was able, you know, the time he had uh, with the deck. Um, very, very impressive to come up with something like this. I doubt I would ever be able to do that. Um, but he's got three Gamma Seal, and then three Super Ancient Deep Sea King, uh, Coelacanth. Uh, for those of you that don't know what this card does, I didn't know what it did either. Um, it's basically a level 7 fish that says once per turn you can discard one card, special summon as many level 4 or lower fish type monster as possible from your deck, but they cannot attack, and their effects are negated. Then during the player's turn, while this face-up card is on the field, is targeted by a card or, uh, by a card effect, you contribute one other fish type monster to negate the activation if you do destroy that card. So that other effect, you don't really care too much about. I guess it could come in handy if they try to Valor it, or if they try to um, do anything to it, try to negate it uh, with a Widow Anchor or an Impermanence, what have you. You're really going for that first effect. Which is basically discard a card, special summon as many level 4 or lower fish type monsters from your deck. Um, and uh, it's a level 7, so you're probably wondering how you're going to get this card in the field. It's basically through Saryuja. You're just spamming the field with all these fish monsters, mainly the Nimble Engine and the Swap Engine, uh, to go into Saryuja to get this thing out. You know, use Saryuja's effect to special summon it. And then you go from there with your extra link. Um, and it's a pretty solid extra link. You can pretty much get all the Nightmares, Trigate, um, no problem. And you see he's got Boral Sword and Load in here because you definitely pull that off uh, when going second as well. Uh, then three Teus, obviously. The only search target he's playing is Mermel Abyss Dine, uh, which is perfect because if you summon Teus and you discard one of these cards that may not get an effect off the Teus, you can add Dine, and then Dine just puts itself on the field to help be able to add itself as more Link Fodder. Um, and that yeah, just triple Teus, mainly a discard outlet. It's a one card discard, might as well play it. White Stingray is the same thing as well. You can special from your hand by discarding a water monster. Silent Wabi. This card says during your main phase, you can special this card from your hand to your opponent's side of the field. When summoned this way, draw one card, and if you do, your opponent gains 2,000 life points. Uh, this is, I'm assuming, um, is basically to uh, just draw into cards that you might need and it also has the other fact uh that you can uh, the hand size limit of this card's controller becomes three so you give this card to them they may gain 2,000 life points but they limit themselves in how much card advantage they're willing to or they're able to have simply because you can only have three cards in your hand that's probably doesn't come up that much uh mainly just using it to probably get extra draws and that's probably the only reason it's in here and then we have a uh two copies of silent angler it says if you control water monster you can special summon this card from your hand but you cannot special summon monsters from your hand for the rest of this turn which this card comes in handy uh, i'm assuming once you've already sort of established your uh you know your deep sea king 
uh, card, because at that point, you really don't need to special summon any of other monsters from hand at that point, and this is just a free extender. And then we have three Oyster Meister. If it's sent from the field of the graveyard, except by uh, when destroyed by battle, you can special summon an Oyster token. And that is uh, not once per turn. So anytime this card uh, sent from the field of the graveyard, you get a free token. You guys know how that goes. Tokens and links, yeah, they go well together. Uh, especially with the nightmare stuff and extra linking. Playing three copies of those, it obviously is a level four lower fish. We also have uh, Mermail Abyss Dine. Obviously, this is for the Teus play. If you are discarding something off it, that doesn't get an effect. Uh, and this is the last thing to happen. It can summon itself out. And there you go, an extra monster on board. The swap engine, uh, pretty understandable. Uh, you know, triple swap, double Ronin, double Dupe Frog. Just to be able to spam the field with more uh, swap or frog monsters and be able to use Ronin to summon itself out of grave. And this is a discard outlet as well. And then we have the Nimble Package. Uh, three Sunfish, three Angler, and three Beaver because boy oh boy do you always want this Nimble Angler to be live. You want to be able to use this card even when you have a uh, Sunfish in hand and a Beaver. And I've even seen him use the Beaver as an extra or as, an, as normal summon to be able to combo out even more. And we'll get to that when we get to the replay. Uh, one fish board planter. This is a pretty cool attack. If it's in your graveyard, you can send the top card to your deck to the graveyard. And if it was a water, you special summon this card. And would you look at that? Every monster in this deck is water, so that's going to go off uh, pretty much 100% of the time, uh, unless you mill a Sekka's Light, which would just be kind of unfortunate. And that's why I like that he's playing Sekka's Light in here, because it increases the odds of this card going off, which in some cases might make or break your play, getting that extra monster on your field. Obviously, the Ronin dupe for the swap. And then we have uh, Fishborg Launcher, which I actually play in Mermail. Same uh, sort of thing here. You can summon out of your grave if everything in your grave is water. And then it gets banished when it leaves the field. Obviously not using it for Synchros there. You're using it for Link Fodder. Treeborn Frog, uh, same thing. This is, I bet, I uh, imagine to uh, stall. If you don't open up that well, you can just bring it out uh, during your opponent's turn and just sort of block damage and hope for the best if your strategy doesn't go the way you need it to. And then three copies of Sack is Light uh, just to see in your combo pieces. One Cat Shark in the extra deck. Uh, Boral Load and Sword at one star. Use a triple Trigate Wizard. And then we have the Nightmare Package consisting of Unicorn, Phoenix, Cerberus, Binary Sorceress, uh, Proxy Dragon, Mistar Boy, Space Insulator, and one copy of Link Karibo. Just so all that Link stuff, all that Linky goodness. Now we'll go ahead and get into the replays so you guys can see sort of how this deck operates. It's really, really cool. It helps me guys find some inspiration from this deck and maybe other people start doing some cool things with it because it's definitely really cool. All right, so this first replay we have here is against Pendulums, it looks like. And uh, I think he's going to go first here, getting started with the swap play. Uh, discarding the angler, summoning out the uh, you know the beaver and the sunfish, using the swap frog, uh, obviously getting the ronin to the graver, graveyard, and then just going right into Saryuja, draws into Saka's light too, which is really well here, and then he gets the deep sea king on the board, and then from this point he's just gonna go all in, summoning the planter and the launcher to be able to revive later, going right into Trigate, summoning out his token, going into proxy dragon, summoning out another token. Like, the list goes on here. He's got a Ronin going right into Nightmare Phoenix. Launcher into Link Karibo. Summon out another Ronin. Go into Cerberus Planter. And, like, it just goes on and on. He's got Binary Sorcerers there at the end. Like, this deck extra links like it's nobody's business. Uh, it does it really, really well. And he's still got one card in hand. And odds are he's going to be able to resolve this Teus next turn. And uh, he's got a negate, a whole field that can be destroyed by battle. And overall, that's a pretty solid extra link still with one card in hand. Is he going to draw one, uh, two cards to start his next turn as well? Because the Nightmare Unicorn cannot be destroyed by battle. Uh, has the link to protect. And he's got a negation as well. So just a really solid field. We'll go into this other replay here where he is going against uh, Rockets, I believe. He's going to be going first here again as well. Summoning Teus to discard the Angler. And uh, just going to try to go into Saryuja as quickly as possible. Adding that Dine there, as I said earlier, just for that one purpose, to be able to summon itself to the field. And then resolving another Deep Sea King. Going for two Oyster Meisters, the uh, two Fishborg Monsters. Because there's a token, uh, another token, and then the two Revivals. And uh, I don't believe he Normal Summoned either. So this is where I think I see him Normal Summon the Beaver right here. 
to be able to summon out the Sunfish going for Cerberus. And now he's got the Triple Nightmare with the Trigate uh, Negation. Not a full extra link, but still a pretty solid field uh, to try and go up against. Uh, this guy tries to play into it, hits him for a couple of damage, uh, for a little damage I should say, and then he draws three cards for turn, draws into an angler and uh, a dupe frog and tries the torrential and obviously that isn't going to go through. Uh, and last we have one more replay here, uh, right here, and uh, see he opened beaver and uh, sunfish, but he's able to normal the beaver to start, be able to get sunfish out. And then just use the swap engine to get him into a Saryuja, thus getting him into his Deep Sea King Koliankath, or whatever it's called. Uh, and then right into Trigate, the Double Oyster Meister, and the two Fishborg Monsters sort of rinse and repeat at this point, uh, like you guys have seen earlier. Now, yes, this is very susceptible to hand traps and things of that nature, but it's a really cool gimmicky deck that I don't think a lot of people would see coming, and I just wanted to really share it with you guys because it's super, super cool. I mean, he's just using all fish monsters to go into an extra link. It's, it's really creative. Uh, and some people think that there's no creativity in this game. Look at this. He's using all these fishes to go into this massive extra link, and it's pretty consistent. It seems like all you really need to open is Teus and an angler, and then you just turbo your way into your uh, deep sea king, and then you're just you're on your way. To, to your extra link city um, really really cool so shout outs to him for uh, showing us this extra link I think his name in discord is Nikki uh, so if you guys want to uh, join discord and ask him sort of any uh, questions about it I guess feel free to but this is the deck list um, it'll be in discord as well if you guys want to you know download it for yourself and try it uh, feel free to and uh, yeah let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below and uh, I think in the future Anytime we come across any really cool decks, uh, we'll go ahead and showcase them on the channel in a, a video like this. I'm not going to do it all the times. Uh, I'm not really going to accept submissions unless somebody has something really cool and innovative. Uh, I'll take a look at it and we'll go from there. But uh, it's probably going to be a, a really regular series, but maybe so on. But maybe it will be in the future. Who knows? Um, but this is definitely really cool. I think he calls it just Fish OTK. So let me know what you guys think comments down below join discord also follow me on twitch if you haven't already and uh yeah thank you guys so much for watching so we're gonna kill signing out we'll see you in the next one